have sunk an enemy destroyer. Hey there, team. It's Ripper here. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. Finally, uh, my thoughts on the USS Wisconsin event, yay or nay. But as always, before we begin, if you see value in the channel and you like what we're doing here, like, subscribe, all button below. Appreciate all the support at 2000 subs, which we're almost there, by the way. We're going to do a free premium DD giveaway, and um, we'll take a look at it. So hopefully I'm going to grind. I'm not a contributor or anything. Uh, I just play the game just like any other average player, having a blast. And just I just like building friendships and communities, and uh, this is a good, fun hobby of mine. And eventually I will get the USS Wisconsin because why not? Uh, I'll try to get for it. And you do have to spend, I think, the minimum 3,200 doubloons. And if you do the math, it's probably roughly around the $15, $20 ish, whatever, how many doubloons cost these days. So you're getting a $20 ship if, and then a little bit of grinding, a little bit of work. So what do I think of it? Um, th right there off the bat, having a, having spent hundreds of dollars on things like this in uh, the World Warships, I can tell you if you only have to spend about 15 to 20 bucks on doubloons just to get this thing and green grinding it out there is a problem there in my sense that it's just an average ship it's nothing to gawk at because why would a company charge so little for something they value a lot right so therefore if they're charging less then it doesn't seem like it's value to them and i think that's a disgrace honestly in my personal opinion tldr i think a war gaming is, is putting a disgrace on the american battleships and, and i feel very having uh, being in the military as it is and being a, a person that uses this as a hobby to see ships, I like the models and everything. I think they're going to do a great job of artistic work. But to actually play it off like this, I mean, I think a, a Soviet, all the Soviet cruisers and battleship lines are way, well, definitely out thwart Missouri, Iowa, and all of them. And I think it's a disgrace, honestly. And Wargaming, shame on you. Uh, I think that's a very terrible way to reflect about a lot of your player base, uh, especially the heritage. It's like spitting on some kind of uh, native ancient burial ground or something like that because you're just saying, these ships are mediocre and they're only worth 20 bucks to us. And that, that's pretty sad, honestly. I, I have to say that. And they do it to other countries as well. I'm not, this is not the only one. But here's my thought on the, the uh, USS Wisconsin. Literally take the, the word Wisconsin and put an X in front of it and then put it in front of a Missouri, Iowa, whatever you have already. That's how sad this is. And, I, and I'm sorry to gripe. I thought this would be a positive video. But honestly, I, the way that it's looking, having seen the videos from a lot of guys out there, and shout out to them, like uh, Potato Quality, Sea Lore Mountain Batten, uh, Flamu, um, you know, a trend last a, a lot of these guys that do these reviews that I really enjoy and watch. Uh, they've been revealing a lot of sad parts and uh, and then just look in the background video. I'm using a Missouri, literally identical stuff. And look, look how these shots are going. Yay! Clink. It, 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 I'm, I'm getting over pins on 406 millimeter guns at seven kilometer range. It doesn't seem very powerful in the sense. If I took a Stalingrad or Petra Moscow or something, it would totally obliterate these guys. But it's sad to see this is the way it ships. And I did a full secondary build just to see what it would look like to show you guys. Missouri, because I took Halsey, and my Halsey is built for Ohio. So why not make all the secondaries be the same? That's another gripe of mine. Look, look, they have the same secondary guns on these battleships. Okay, look. Ooh, finally, I get a... Literally, I'm like three kilometers away, and I get one Citadel and an overpin on a battleship like the Colorado with this thick, thick ASS, thick butt, you know, that I can literally shoot... Uh, it would take a mile to cross the damn thing. I'm just exaggerating there. But anyways, the shell apparently overpinned that whole thing. That's incredible. I mean, you're telling me it went straight, straight through everything, boilers, ammo rooms, uh, the kitchen, everything. It, it totally did. It just went right through. It didn't hit anything. Hilarious. All right, aiming out the water line. Let's see if I do this to Veneto. Yay, I finally get one or three uh, salvos at that range. I mean, at least it's give me something. I mean, that's what Missouri should be doing majority of them in the game, but it doesn't. And you're going to see in the subsequent battles I'm going to show you, you litter, and then I'm playing against bots here on tier A, tier eight ish or nine ish, and I'm getting owned right now. I know they're, yeah, it's like, what, two versus one here, kind of? Yeah, I'm using islands for cover. I'm doing everything I'm supposed to be doing. I got the, the gun aimed at the waterline. I've got enough heals. I should be able to survive this, finally. Kill a guy. But it's, I, I should be literally rocking and rolling these guys, and I, I feel like I'm a lower tier class right here. I feel like I'm not surviving. Again, going back to the secondaries, I built a full secondary build. They sh these secondaries should be all the same, like Ohio, where the accuracy and everything's the same. They're the same damn guns. I don't understand why they have to do this. Well, this ship has different gunners that day. They're on vacation, and, you know, the barrels are shorter this day, and, oh, by the way, that was built at a different year. Who cares? It's the game. It should be all the same right and then and, and for especially secondary guns that aren't controlled by the player they should all be the same to give you some kind of brawl and this is what the game is turned into look at this i'm playing against bots and they're torpedoing me like crazy and they're having fun doing it the bot is having more fun than i am 
And uh, honestly, it's it's a big slap in the face, honestly, to um, you know history, museums, the heritage, veterans, everybody that's served on these things. You shame on you, War Game. You should really fix this thing and make it better than it really is. So, why do I say that now? Because the USS Wisconsin event is a dockyard event where you just brand out a couple events or uh, things, and they release them subsequent subsequently, and you can grind them out, play them. And um, you you get you complete missions, and then you get them after have, having spent some of the balloons, which AKA may cost you some money. But you 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 complete those events, and then once those events are completed, after the event will last, in, I believe, uh, in the next six weeks here or so, you can get the the ship. In six, uh, I guess you could say almost free. There is a little bit of work and a little bit of the balloons. And then what does it give you? So you get I uh, literally a Missouri and Iowa that's already in the game, like I, I got right now. And again, it was another fear of missing out event. Uh, for Missouri here and you do the event you get it and this is what you get you get literally another same cookie cutter battleship that can't do can't seem to do much other than it's got the combat instructions with increases reload and maybe your heels cool down faster so you're just another faster punching bag for me to he spam you since I'm a DD main I'm just gonna farm your superstructure and look at that it took a, a hit right off the nose from a tier 8 Zeton wow so I'm literally low class here compared to these tier eights and i got the secondaries rocking and rolling i know i'm getting shot at from different angles and i'm doing the best i can i'm angled uh but like i said it just feels so weak and awkward and i took a shot right there fired it and look at that four thousand and i get hit like four to three thousand health it just doesn't seem powerful enough Okay, so now I'm cleaning this to show you how fun submarines are in the game nowadays. And this is why they're introducing, uh, I believe, like a sheep in a wolf's den. I mean, yeah, it's all nice and cool. You polish the sheep up, sheep up and uh, you're introducing it into a game full of wolves. That's the, my summing up right, very right there. Look, look how fun and engaging this is. So I'm in a ship, a battleship that has guns and secondaries and armor and everything. And I'm going around hunting for a submarine. Fun. So the game is literally, I take the submarine, I, a reticle, and I aim it over the, some water, body of water I see some kind of reflection on, and I'm assuming he's going that direction because that's where the trend indicator is. He gets to ping all I want. I can't damage con because if I do, then I can't damage con the flood. Oh, here come the torpedoes, and I can turn hard left, and yeah, I'm dodging shells, and boom, I'm dead. So fun and engaging, right? And that was spent the whole time in the back of the map. That, it's forced players like me, and, and I want to push in. But I can't, I, and I got to go in the back of the map. That's that's how much engaging this is. So, okay, imagine again, you're in a Wisconsin. Just imagine Missouri. Just replace the uh, to tier nine with X, and then says Wisconsin. And essentially, this is what you're getting. So I'm just replaying kind of like what you're gonna get. You got the combat instructions, which get you faster reload, faster heals, and so forth. And you get the better Sigma, of course, built into the ship. But is that really gonna make a difference? And you got to basically he spam nowadays. I mean. I'm, I'm not doing anything good with maybe some of the H, the AP shells. Um, again, some people have, sh have got videos of them doing nice citadels. I can do citadels too in Missouri, but I'm almost up close and personal. The Wisconsin is touted to have better Sigma and accuracy at longer ranges. I I see videos of people citadeling, citadeling people. Are they cool? Yeah. Is it enough to win the game? I'm not really sure. I'm not seeing games being won by the Wisconsin or Missouri or Iowa for that matter. And look, I got to resort to HE spamming because that's all I can do at this point. I mean, I get a 36% chance of fires, four or six millimeter guns. It pens uh, 68 plus millimeter of armor for HE. So why not? And look, here's my fellow Missouri. Yay. He's getting torped as well from a Benham. Awesome. Missouri, the only thing it touts is the cool radar. Um, you don't have that in the Wisconsin. You get, again, the combat instructions, better accuracy and so forth. But the secondaries suck. Uh, you know, rest of the guns, there's only nine of them. You can just, might as well just play Montana. Why just, if you're going to do that, play the Montana. Now, all I can do is HE spam at this point. Uh, so what do I think of the event? Is it worth it? For, for buffs, or history buffs, and people that love the game and just want to get the ship and the doctor to look at it, you're essentially just getting the name change of a ship and getting a tier 10, uh, you know, up tiered. If that's what you want, grow for it. I mean, it's only, like I said, $15, $20 worth of time and effort. Uh, why not? And forgive me, man. I, did, I had to switch to H from HE to AP. Man, the reload on this thing is horrendously long for some reason. And yay, 3,700 damage, two pens. Terrible accuracy on the Missouri. Uh, I wish it was better. It, again, a disgrace. Uh, Wargaming, you should give better. If you're giving all these other ships, uh, like Soviet bias and everything, like the Soviet lines are biased, everything like that, the green Slavas and, and so forth, and the Bungos and Japanese ships are doing way better than Missouri, come on. 
do something better with this. I mean, it, it's just a disgrace the way you're doing it. Uh, and then, look, okay, now I get a full broadside ship. Right? This should literally be a dev strike right here, right, guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I get four overpins. Wow. Sad. And that's kind of what I've been hearing about Wisconsin. A lot of guys have been playing it and get a lot of overpins, even at distance, at range, even with the touted Sigma and accuracy. It's, it's, it's so bad. Now, again, if you like for the history buff aspect of it, having the ship, great. Go for it. It's not that big a deal. It's only like, like I said, 3,200 doubloons ish. Do a couple grind missions for a while and then you got it. Some people will outright spend the money on it. I don't think it's worth it. Honestly, I've seen a lot of people say it's not worth it. Um, what do you do? Um, so. For me, I'm not going to spend any more money than I really have to do. Just grind it out, and cool. It's a nice collectible item. And that's all it really is. I'm sad to say it's just a collectible item because it's just another Missouri, Iowa thing. And they didn't do anything to help it. Please OP this thing. Make it buff it or do something. Because what you're doing is they're touting that this is going to be an event that goes away, and then people are going to fear missing out, and they're going to spend the money and get it. And that's it, right? Finally, I get a nice broadside cruiser, and that's all I can do. I can literally blap this thing, thank God. But he's almost dead, so... If that's all the Missouri and the Iowa and the Wisconsin can really do, sad, sad, sad day. And I'll show you this game in the background. This is the game of throws, by the way. Look, we're up six ships. They're four. We're winning by points, but we somehow figure out how to manage. And I'm, I'll be at fault of it, too. I somehow screwed this up because I didn't kill that cruiser way off in the distance who's sitting in the back of the corner. And I wanted to play the game. I wanted to go up and rush people and have fun. I mean, that's the whole point of the game, right? Not to sit in the back and hopefully I survive kind of thing. Uh, and I'm just firing. Look at that dispersion. Terrible. Uh, the Wisconsin touts a little bit better. So when you, uh, basically the Wisconsin has the, uh, the ability to use the combat instructions. It means every time you shoot, it ticks up, it re refills a, a gauge, a fuel bar, and then all of a sudden you can hit it, pop it, get quick reload hills, kind of like St. Martin style. Uh, and, and really for those that really don't like the, what they're seeing here in Wisconsin, honestly, you're not going to like the way it handles as well. It's just an, a mediocre average ship. I think a lot of guys have talked about, you know, uh, you know, PQ, Potato Quality, and um, Sea Lord, and, and so more, some of these other guys that I watch. Um, they're all talented. It's just an average ship. It's nothing to gawk at, nothing to be impressed by. There's nothing really gimmicky about it uh, either. Even the combat instructions aren't that gimmicky. It's just another four, nine guns of 406 millimeter that have no secondary ability, really, uh, uh, whatever. Even if you build for it, the accuracy is not even there. They, they're just spraying, you know, some kind of mist all over the place, and hopefully something sticks. And look, here come the secondaries. I'm at least within five kilometers. Even a destroyer of these secondaries would be able to hit. A gearing could hit this guy from five kilometers, right? Well, I hit two shots, and I got a full blast this guy. Now, again, I can't do anything other than turn into the store and show broadside to the guy on the left, or I go to the guy on the left and get torqued by the guy on the right. So this is that I knew that was coming, so I literally split the difference. I'll angle, and here come the torpedoes, I expect, but there's nothing I can do. And that's the Missouri for you, and that's the Wisconsin, and this will be the Iowa, the same thing, and it's sad. Um, and this is the nature of battleships these days, pushing in like this, and we really can't do much. And I'm sorry, War Games killing a game. Yeah, that's why competitive doesn't have much of the the submarines and CVs and everything in that. And uh, now, granted, I got killed by a destroyer, but that's kind of the nature of the game these days. We're just battleships sitting in the back. And here's the game of throws for you guys. We were up by a few hundred. Now we are down, and the game is over. But anyways, hey, let me know your thoughts. I mean, that was just me ranching around. Uh, take a look, read the articles, read the dev blogs. Uh, Wisconsin, what do you think about it? Um, me personally, I think it's worth uh, getting as a collectible item, fear of missing out thing, and it's not worth spending the money on. And when you get it, it's just going to perform like the Iowa's and the Missouri's. It's just kind of a me mediocre battleship. Go play the Montana. Anyways, that's my thoughts. Let me know your thoughts as well in the comments below. Like, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. Appreciate all the support, and I can't wait. Look forward to getting to Wisconsin to play it and show you guys how I would play it. But as always, be safe and say hi out there. Cheers.